Okay. So this is percentage yield. The second main concept that I wanted to do with you was percentage purity. Again, percentage purity is about how much you actually had compared to how much actually reacted. So a very common example of this is that uh, two grams limestone is reacted with HCl, with excess HCl. Uh, 24 dm cube, uh, 24 gram in fact, 24 gram CO2 is produced. Calculate percentage purity of CaCO3. Now here's the thing, uh, in limestone. Now, Limestone has CaCO3 which reacts. So the equation for that is CaCO3 plus HCl produces CO2 plus H2O plus calcium chloride. Now you already know that uh, this equation is acid-base reaction and how it produces carbon dioxide and everything. We have seen that. Now we are adding 2 grams limestone. We might assume that, oh, this is whole thing just limestone. But it is also possible that this whole thing is not in the limestone. Limestone has some extra stuff. So for this one, we need to know that, okay, how much calcium carbonate did we actually have? So just like in percentage yield, I wanted to find yield of ammonia. So I ignored ammonia. Over here, I want to find the percentage purity of calcium carbonate. I'll ignore the calcium carbonate amount that they gave me. I will calculate it myself. I don't trust their value. So I'll be like, okay, I have two, 24 gram carbon dioxide. So this is 24 gram. This I will try to find out how much of this I have. So again, if I use the ratio method, so calcium carbonate and CO2, uh, one mole of calcium carbonate is 100 grams. That's the MR. One mole of carbon dioxide is 44 grams. So for 100 grams of this produces 44 grams of this. I have 24. So how much of that do I have? So cross multiply. 24 times 100 is equal to 44x. X equals to 24 times 100 over 44. Does anybody have the value for that? Yeah. So I calculated I got 54.5 grams. No, wait. Oh, sorry. It, it was 2.4 in the question. Yeah. Even that doesn't make sense. So it is 5.4. Four or five gram of calcium carbonate that should be having, and we started with twenty grams of that. Okay, yeah. So we had twenty grams of uh, limestone, but we can see that only five point four five gram was calcium carbonate. So the percentage purity will be the mass you calculated yourself divided by the mass that they told you it was times 100%. So clearly this is only 27.2% pure. Everything else was just impurity. Does that make sense? Sir, where did 20 come from? Look, how much limestone was 20 grams. Sir, it was not 2 grams, but it was not 2 grams. Oh, I'm sorry. I copied the problem wrong. It was... 20 grams of this and 2.4 grams of that. Yep. Now this is correct. Sorry. Clear? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. So again, the rule for percentage purity and percentage yield is that whatever substance you're looking for, you ignore its value. You calculate the value yourself and then you apply the formula or ratio to find percentage purity or percentage yield.